Welcome. Welcome back to another We Power Daily Podcast. And as you know, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you may be at the time you decided to tune into the We Power Daily Podcast. I'm your host, P. Anthony, aka the Underground Professor. And as you know, the We Power Daily Podcast is birthed out of conversations, situations, scenarios that I may have in my coaching sessions with my coaching clients. And I pull topics out of there that I believe that could be motivational, that may encourage and that may inspire us to stick and stay and continue on our journey to next level success. Whatever you do, don't quit. Keep pressing on to press forward, to press harder to reach for the next level of your success. Call time out if you must. Put a pause in your calls, but get back in and keep pressing on because you were built for next level success. Because you know, here at WePower, we believe that one person's passion, one person's noble passion, let me put that noble in, one person's noble passion can be the solution to somebody else's problem. So our goal here is simply to expose the passions and people that we may expose solutions to our community. And so here we are on today's topic. And if you have not been tuning in, I would encourage you to go back and begin with episode number one of the We Power Daily Podcast. We are up to episode number 23 today. And today's topic is the basics. Become a subject matter expert in mastering the basics of your craft, the basics of your purpose, the basics of your calling, the basics of your passion, the basics of your passion that can be the solution to somebody else's problem pay attention to the basics. Sometimes success can come to us so smoothly, so quickly in abundance that we often step over the basics, the, 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 the little things that make a big difference when we face difficult challenges, when we face difficult situations. Sometimes it's just putting a pause in your calls, going back to understanding and mastering the basics of your craft, the basics of your passion, the basics of what makes you the best you you can be. You don't deserve the rest of you. You deserve the best of you. And what happens is when success comes easily to us and through us, sometimes we just we jump over the basics. We don't do the basic things that make a big difference when we face challenges and difficult situations. And, you know, for most of us, the, the basic starts in preparation, in preparation, being prepared for the sunrise of the next day, being prepared in what you say you have to accomplish for the next day making sure a uh, part of being prepared is getting the proper rest, making sure that your mind, your will and your emotion is rested, that you've taken time to make sure your body is rested, that you've taken time to make sure that your spirit is rested and that they all work in harmony together by paying attention, paying attention to the basics and then moving into your, your craft or moving into your passion or whatever that is that makes you uniquely yourself to be the best you that God created for you to be. Because there is nobody, hear me, there is nobody on this earth that can be a better you than you can be yourself. Did y'all hear that? There is nobody. There is nobody on this earth 
that can be a better you than you can be yourself. So learn to fine tune the basics when it comes to who you are, when it comes to the, the, the simple and little things, make sure that you are mastering the basics. Make sure that you're putting in the time, the practice, the concentration, the effort to be a subject matter expert in the basics of who you are and your purpose and your calling. You know, when you watch the training videos of championship athletes, athletes with a championship mindset, they spend hours practicing the basics. They spend hours practicing the basics so that when they get in big time game situations, when they get in pressure situations, it's the basics of being able just to make the easy play, to make a difficult play, to make a difficult situation appear to be easy simply because they have mastered the basics of their craft. They have mastered the basics of their skill. They have become subject matter experts in the basics. And what that looks like, what that often translates to is your basics begin to level up. Your basics begin to level up. What do you mean, P. Anthony? I'm glad you asked that question. Your basics, what is normally basics for one person. Now you've been practicing and you've become a subject matter expert in the basic level, in the intermediate, in the beginning state, in the preschool state, the, the preschool level of basics. You've mastered that so tough. Now you've, you've elevated to the kindergartner realm of basics then you've elevated to the first grade realm of the basics then you've elevated to the second grade realm of the basics and so on and so on and as you continue to go back down the levels and go back up the levels and go back down the different levels of being basic you're finding yourself performing super advanced level task as if they were the basics. You will find as you master the preschool level of basics and you go up the, the ladder and you go from level to level higher and higher, you will find that the super advanced level are basics because you're continuing to go up and down, practicing the scale, practicing the, the elementary level of basics as you level up and you go back down, continuing to focus on mastering the basics on every level. So when you see a championship athlete do something that seems and appears to be supernatural that really changes the scope of the game, because what they are doing, we've never really seen it done before like that so effortlessly. They can do that simply because they've mastered the art of practicing and mastering the basics of their craft, the basics of their passion, the basics of their skill. They go up the different levels come back down, mastering each level over and over and over again to the fact, to the point where the super advanced level appears to be basic to them. But the championship mind does not take the elementary steps for granted. A basketball player might dribble the ball, just dribbling the ball for hours multiple times a day they put their all into the basics they put their all into knowing how the ball bounces this way or that way in front of them behind them on the side of them 
they put their all in mastering and paying attention to the basics. And when you make the basics a part of your routine, mastering and becoming a subject matter expert in the basics of your craft, you're going to be able to form at a super advanced level. You will be able to handle the challenging times, the difficult times when everybody else is trying to figure out what to do. You go back to the basics and in going back to the basics and leveling up through the different levels that you master and that you pay attention to the basics on every level, you will be able to effortlessly, as it would appear to others watching you, to walk through and walk over and be, overcome the difficult and challenging situations when they come. I want to thank you for tuning in to this We Power Daily. Do me a favor, like, share, and comment if you so choose. I'm your host, P. Anthony, a.k.a. The Underground Professor. And as Zig Ziglar would say, have a better than good day.